Literature is, a, is, is a extremely, and narrative in general, um, the various strategies of literature are extremely important ways in which people come to understand, define, characterize, and experience the human condition. Herzog is basically a great works of literature program consisting of you know, books on philosophy, uh, literature, political economy, and American history. It goes all the way back to books from 400 BC, 100 BC, up till the 20th century. The Herzog program is sort of an interdisciplinary uh, program that looks at philosophy, literature, um, basically intellectual underpinnings of society. We spend um, our entire class period, which is three hours, uh, having a detailed discussion about what we read. It's not, uh, the, you know, it's not the professor just lecturing nonstop. It's it's really like a fully engaged discussion with everyone in the class. There are only about like ten or so students in the class, so you really get to engage with the teachers. You really get to uh, get close with your, your fellow classmates and. It's just a more intimate environment. In the Hertog program, you're working so closely with other students uh, on the same material. It, it kind of allows for a sense of community to develop very quickly. I saw the Hertog program when it was advertised as a great opportunity for me to take classes that I would otherwise probably never have an opportunity to take. You need to be involved. You need to be thinking. You need to be really present in a way that I don't think you find in most other classes. We have students who are studying uh, engineering, physics, computer science, philosophy, literature. You learn so much about these specific topics that it, it makes you think about your other courses and your other disciplines in a different way. Anyone who goes on to any kind of professional field is in one way or other going to have to write and they'll have to communicate verbally and writing can also help them do that. Almost everyone will at some point, especially the brilliant and talented students we have here in Macaulay at, at CUNY, um, find that even if they are in a technical and scientific field, they're going to need to be able to express themselves in, in writing. You start to learn to, to see things that you may not have seen before and really learn how to analyze the text. Professor Staloff uh, and the other professors in the program put an emphasis on teaching you skills that you can use in your writing and not only helping you with what you have written, but giving you skills that can help you in your other courses, and I definitely think it has helped. I, I am a better writer after being in the Hurt Talk program. I'm definitely a better writer, having taken this program. Sometimes they, they will you know, insist on a rewrite because they know you can do better, and I think that, that really shows how much they care. Oftentimes when we get papers back, we'll get like a page of commentary, which I've never gotten from another professor. Her talk has definitely made me a better writer. Just practicing from assignment to assignment. I've seen my growth definitely from my first assignment till now, and I just continue to get better. If you submit a paper that may not have been your best work, they'll give you the opportunity to work on it until you reach a point where both you and the professor are satisfied with the end result. So as opposed to sitting in a lecture hall and you know taking down notes of questions that you might never get a chance to ask a professor, here you develop a relationship and this back and forth on a weekly basis. They know all of us by name and they, they know what we think and they know how we're going to respond very often. They can anticipate us and it, it's a very comfortable atmosphere. Our professors treat us like Ivy League top-notch graduate students. In class, Definitely the, the attention is, yeah, the most I've ever had from a professor. I'm not in Herzog for, you know, the credits. It's definitely about learning to think and learning to write and just learning to analyze. And that's applicable to anything. I mean, that's not sort of specific to one topic or another. If it is something they really want to do and, then, um, and they're accepted, it makes, you know, going to class a real joy because it's something you look forward to, it's something you reply to, get into. Any kind of self-reflective person at some point in his or her life is going to be addressing some of these questions that come up in philosophy, not just in ethics but in other branches of philosophy. I would remind students, you're going to go through higher education exactly once in your life. And then after that you're going to be working hard to build your career and perhaps start a family and, and, and make a place for the world. You'll want to return to learning and scholarship as a pleasure, but without a certain background in the broadest questions, the broadest literature, it's going to be difficult. This is your moment to do it. Um, 
this is the moment to, to explore your skills, to explore broad questions, to get yourself a rough syllabus of what you'll want to be reading for the rest of your life. And if you're up for that challenge and you're willing to do it with other students who will challenge you and, and support you, I think this is the place to do it.